According to the Associated Press and some other sources, former Ohio Republican Governor John Kasich is expected to speak at the Democratic Party's national convention, and he's also expected to endorse Joe Biden at the convention. Now, a lot of people are saying this is a great score for Biden and the Democratic Party, that this is going to show that they're building bipartisan unity against Donald Trump putting country ahead of party. But from my perspective, this is a huge error strategically, but also in terms of how it basically throws a pie in the face of key elements of the Democratic Party coalition. Because while Kasich, in terms of his image, in terms of his rhetoric, has portrayed himself as an anti-Trump Republican, his actual views are fundamentally regressive in both social and and economic terms. This is a man that worked hard to bust unions in Ohio. This is a man that worked hard to limit the fundamental reproductive and therefore human rights of women in Ohio. This is a person that fought tooth and nail to expand basic equality and protections for the LGBTQ community in Ohio. And so, whether you supported Biden or Bernie or anybody else during the primary, if you're part of one of those communities, you're going to be at the convention watching a man getting prime speaking space, being lauded and applauded, while he, when he had actual power, wanted you to have less basic human rights. Are you a trade unionist? Are you a member of the LGBTQ community? Are you a woman striving for basic equality? The man on the stage hates you. That's the truth. He can pretend otherwise, but he hates you. And he's getting lauded and applauded because Donald Trump is, you know, the enemy right now. And so we're going to not only accept the endorsements of regressive Republicans, but we're going to champion them at our main convention stage for the entire world, hundreds of millions of people potentially, to see. Absolute insanity, from my perspective, to make this move. So disrespectful. You know, the argument might be that this will win over moderate Republicans, that moderate Republicans will see John Kasich at the convention, think to themselves, my goodness, Republicans, even ones I respect, are lining up behind Joe Biden. I better get on board too. But I sort of feel the sorts of people that would be swayed by a John Kasich endorsement of Biden are already off the Trump train. I don't know how many more people this brings along. I kind of think the people that would be Kasich swayed are already with Biden. That's my instinct. At least the vast, vast, vast majority of those people. I don't think they're still on the Trump train. Now, what I do think could happen here is this could actually demotivate, demobilize a lot of potential progressives, not just Bernie progressives, but progressives that supported other candidates and maybe even some that supported Joe Biden. If you're a member of one of these marginalized communities that John Kasich attacked, maybe you don't vote for Biden anymore, or maybe you still vote for him, but you don't donate as much money. You don't knock on doors. You don't put up a sign. You don't volunteer at events. You don't push Biden and down ballot Democrats even as much as you normally would because having Kasich at the convention puts a bad taste in your mouth. And maybe that doesn't affect the result. Maybe it doesn't, but I could see Kasich speaking at the convention actually in terms of net effect, costing Democrats support rather than gaining them support because you can go to somebody who says, I don't want to vote for Biden. And then you'll say, well, we have to, we need to stop regressive Republicans at all costs. And then they'll say regressive Republicans like John Kasich, who's regressive on women's issues, LGBTQ issues, workers' rights, education, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then what are you going to say in response? You're going to either have to acknowledge that it's hypocritical to have Kasich on stage or you're going to have to lie to them. And I think a lot of people who are Bernie or Busters or can't vote for Biden for all these issues, this will give them another excuse not to vote for Joe Biden. It will, right? Like this is another reason you can say in a long list of reasons why somebody who's not going to vote for Trump, they're not voting for Trump, but says, I can't vote for Biden either. And Kasich at the convention 
is going to be one of those cited reasons. And one thing I want to touch on before we go is the hypocrisy of the Democratic establishment. We all remember Joe Rogan endorsing Bernie Sanders and Bernie taking the picture with Joe Rogan and going on the Joe Rogan podcast. And the Democratic Party establishment made such an absolute stink about how this was disrespectful to trans people. This was disrespectful to progressives on a social sense because Joe Rogan is not a progressive person. He has right wing views, blah, 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 blah. Whatever you think of those remarks, I actually agree to some degree that Joe Rogan's views don't represent mine and I find some of them abhorrent. But the point is Bernie Sanders was building this unity beyond the liberal bubble and got absolutely roasted for it and now you're pulling in literal capital R Republicans who actually had gubernatorial power and implemented policies that are far worse in some ways than the things Joe Rogan believes and not only is his endorsement being celebrated and highlighted he's being given a speaking slot at a convention absolutely centering him more than 99% of endorsements of Biden on a major stage. This shows that it was never really about Bernie not supporting marginalized communities. It was never about that. It was always about defeating Bernie Sanders and building a basic Democratic Republican elite coalition to oppose Donald Trump so that when Trump is defeated, and I hope he is defeated, the alternative is the status quo regressive option, maybe even worse than what we had before, given this awful amalgam of Republicans and Democrats and regular working class people are going to be left out, marginalized people, people that are still fighting for their basic rights. It was all to stop Bernie. And now that Bernie's out, you're seeing this mega coalition of neoliberals and neoconservatives and regressives on social and economic issues all lining up behind Joe Biden. And no one is calling it out from the party establishment because they're a bunch of goddamn hypocrites.